close your eyes for two seconds and think about nothing yes nothing I think it's pretty hard isn't it but what is nothing and uh, is there anything called nothing is it even exist whatever you see in this universe is made of emptiness from an atom to entire galaxy and hydrogen atom consists of 99.9999999 and so on percentage of empty space and so human body and the entire universe but why is it empty and is emptiness called nothing the space between the celestial bodies consists of subtle particles which are in thousands for every cubic meter but even if you vacuum up all those particles there would be still wavelengths of radiation and gravity stretching across vast distances of space imagine you have removed the particles entire energy radiation gravity and everything now you would left with is a true vacuum or an empty space but even in vacuum at its lowest energy level there are fluctuations in the quantum vacuum of the universe there are quantum particles popping in and out of existence throughout the universe there is nothing then pops something and then the particles collide and you are left with nothing again quantum physics shows us how a particle can pop in and out of existence and pop in again which is concept called quantum fluctuation but the particle is actually may be moving through time so once it is no longer in the present we no longer see it we might consider it to have become nothing According to Einstein's theory energy and mass cannot be destroyed so the particle which is popped out of existence is still there so does it become nothing According to string theory the particle which is popped out from a certain location is in the fourth dimension so we cannot see it and when it wiggles into the third dimension in different location we became aware of it so from string theory we can understand that the particle travels through time and time is the fourth dimension and when the particle wiggles back into the third dimension we became aware of it this shows that quantum physics may be related to string theory and when particles pops out from the existence it is still there in nothing and nothing is something which we technically call nothing